Hello fan fans, I'm the PC Expert Amateur and we're going to take a look at the Vitru LED case fan. And you're thinking, ooh, ARGB. No, 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 it's not ARGB, don't get excited. This is an LED fan. That's why they call it LED fan, because it has just one power cable. Now this one has two ways to power, one from the MOBO, or motherboard, and the other one from the power supply, but you don't want to plug in both. Only one. You can use the other one for daisy chaining, but never plug in both of them because damage will occur. It has a beautiful purple blades that are uh, two humped, which should look interesting when we get the lights going. So let's do that then. Are you ready? Okay, so from from this side you don't really see much and it's kind of disappointing that you can see all the LEDs so easily however however don't worry because this side makes it worthwhile and that double hump causes that nice pattern there so it looks like the lights are like kind of like running into the the blades of the fan this way it's pretty cool all right let's listen now all right. Um, when I first got it down to this speed, I could hear some rubbing from the bearings. I can still hear something, but it's, it's much fainter than it was before. Okay, so this is this is a very quiet fan. You're not going to notice it once it's in the case. And and of course the um, the downside is there's very little pressure to this so it's really only good for um, like an exhaust fan not really even much for an intake fan and you wouldn't want to put it on a cooler so I'm gonna say this is about uh, 0.4 millimeters of static pressure would you please help me out by liking subscribing sharing and commenting even a short comment helps to improve the number uh, of visitors and the way that YouTube promotes my videos. Thank you. Let's take a look at the specs now. Okay, so the Vitru LED case fan CP-Fan-VPL is a, um, well, with, with the shipping and everything, it's a $9.60 fan, uh, certified CE and RHS. I had to contact uh, Vitru to get the specs for their fans because they provide very little in the way of specs on their boxes and their websites. I have to you know, get into chat and then it's a little bit of a hassle. I think it's just a uh, language barrier, but I'm not sure. And um, yeah, so it's a made in China, 120 by 25, 20,000 hours of life, uh, one year warranty, 15 purple LEDs along with the purple blades, 90 grams, seven blades, 105 millimeters between the holes, 1200 RPMs plus or minus 10%, 38.6 CFMs of airflow, 0.85 millimeters of static pressure. I'm going to call that a little bit off. 24.4 uh, decibels, and I forgot to measure that. Gosh. So that's 53 centimeters with daisy chaining and sleeving, three pin DC connectors, sleeve bearings, 12 volts, 1.32 watts, and 0.35 amps. So for what little you get out of it, it does use a fair amount of uh, electricity. Not very efficient, but probably partially because of the sleeve bearings producing more friction than better types of bearings. And <clears throat> again, I thought I had finished this and I didn't. So no indicators of rotation and flow. Turns in a clockwise direction. Comes with four fan bolts and corner cushions, and uh, you can. There's a daisy, you know, the daisy chaining power supply connection via the Molex D that's on the cable itself. So you know, technically this should be a no, <laughs> but um, 
I was thinking differently when I made that notation. So there we go. Hello, thanks for watching my video and I need to ask for your help. Um, so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers comp case I have from an injury I had at work uh, last year in 2023 uh, for which I'm currently suing the workers comp company. I really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months but in I, if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out you have two options um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel Glenn's Fast Reviews and uh, make a one-time donation there or if you would want to do a re uh, repeating donation a monthly donation you can go to patreon.com slash um, <coughs> So slash G L E N N M I I. That's G as in Glenn, L E N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, M as in Mary, I I. No, not I I, but I I, right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people um, also I want to say thank you to my very first patreon Rudik uh, from Australia who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for that's okay um, I will certainly try to do that anyways um, and uh, it, it means a lot because not only did you um, choose to financially support me but you've also been supportive in some of your in some comments on my, some of my videos and I think that's absolutely fantastic so um, yeah if there are any questions please put them in the comments and uh, you here or on patreon and uh, I will try to get back to as quickly as possible sometimes I don't see comments right away because of the way YouTube works and uh, oh by the way um, thank you to bleeping computer and it's the owner of bleeping computer who goes by the name of Grindler online on uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel uh, the PC expert amateur and uh, I appreciate it very much and you sh if you need help with uh, say malware or, or technical problems with your computer the uh, bleeping computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there sorry and We'll be happy to help you. And you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that.